Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews in this video I will take a look at a city tweak called Tage which has been updated to work with iOS 10. So Tage will bring a lot of new gesture features to iOS. So for example you want to open the app switcher all you have to do is just swipe up here at the bottom of the corner. You want to go to a quick app switcher so you swipe here and you just release your finger on any of the apps and you can open that app or you want to close an app all you have to do is just swipe up like this and you can close that app is as easy as that and also switching from app to app has never been easier with stage now all you have to do is just go ahead and swipe like this and you can go to the next app you can go to the previous app just like this so you can see how it is easy it is you just swipe here at the corners and you don't need even need to open the app switcher to go to the next app so here are the settings of the tweak you have an enable button then you have the screen area so here we have this area right here, the bottom of the screen, left, center and right. You can choose what you want to do when you swipe up from these areas of the screen. So you have different gestures here and you have here different actions that you can take with those gestures. Then lower here you have long swipe up. So if you enable long swipe up, you go ahead and swipe all the way up to close an app and it will also quit the background apps. So if you go back. Then you have system switcher animation here, you can enable it. And then you have switcher delay here, you can set that. And then you have here switch apps. So here you can enable the switching between apps. So all you have to do is enable it right there. And then you can choose the number of fingers that you want to use to switch between apps. So you can swipe with two fingers or with just one finger. And then here you will have to set this screen area. So you can have all this edge here. So you can swipe anywhere on the edge to go to the next app or Here's what I've chosen. I've chosen the bottom half. So if I swipe here, you can see it will change between apps. But if I swipe up here, it will go back. This is the default gesture of iOS. And then you can also disable it in keyboard. You have here the quick switcher. You can choose the area here that you want to use to invoke the quick switcher. And you have many other options here to configure for Tage. So as you can see right there, okay, I'm keeping switching between apps there. You can see here it is asking me to buy it. So once you install this tweak, you will get like a free three, day, three days to try it. So you will try it for three days for free. And then you will have to purchase the tweak if you decide you want to keep it on your device and keep using it. So to install Tage for iOS 10, you will need to add a repo. That repo can be found in the description of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.